Hello learners, this is Habiba with Excel with me. If you like the video, please do like, share, subscribe and comment below. Let's start today's class that is Pedagogy of Social Sciences with the topic Teaching Learning Geography. Let's start with meaning and meaning, nature and scope of geography, current trends we will discuss later. In this class, we are going to understand thoroughly about the meaning and definitions. Let's start with the introduction. Geography forms a part of social sciences and is one of the social sciences which is now heading towards a scientific form. Already we know in school curriculum, we take up four main disciplines. What is a discipline? Specific subject area. That means social sciences have n number of sub specific subject areas uh, uh, among which schools take up history, geography, political science, economics generally in our country. So here geography is one of the disciplines of social sciences. So it is taking a major roles in scientific form also. Change is the law of nature and change is the fundamental of development and progress. Obviously, if there is no change, there is no progress and there is no development. So change is must. It's a fundamental of development. So geography has passed through many stages and it was only in 1995 that geography was accorded an important place in the curriculum. Earlier, they used to take general humanities and social sciences, but specific place has been taken in the year in 1995. Let's see the meaning of geography actually. Geo means related to earth. Graphy means a process or form of drawing, writing, representing, recording, describing, etc. or an art or science concerned with such a process. So, related to earth, whatever we are learning, that is geography. The word geography is derived from the Greek word that is geo. That means the earth in its broadest meaning, the earth. Graphos uh, that is graphy that is to write about that means we are writing or learning or drawing about our earth that is geography literally to write about the earth on the one hand uh, geography is concerned with people obviously earth without people people without people there is no existence at all that is ecological system balance of physical and uh, biological that is non-living and living things interaction between these two is very important in geography that is related geography means description of earth but since earth is full of various things which could not be studied in isolation and it is quite difficult to describe everything we find on earth thus to overcome these difficulties certain principles have been formulated which are quite useful for us in the study of earth with its relevant factors obviously everything description of earth is geography everything related to earth is not possible few things are isolated but to overcome all these difficulties what they have done some useful studies they have done here related to earth so let's start with the definitions here so to give more explicit definition geography is the study of Earth as the home of man or in other words, geography is the study of the environment of man, physical, social, particularly in its relation to human activities given by Professor E. A. McNeil. Next definition, according to Professor L. Doodley Stamp, geography is a description of the world and in its inhabitants obviously when people are living inhabitants is there then only there is meaning to the earth so in this definition we find that human factor is taken into consideration and thus geography we not only study physical factors and environment but it also includes the studies of human activities carried out in relation to environment obviously people environment earth these are all closely related intimately related to each other thus geography is the study of the changes and the development obviously in the past whatever map you have seen gradually it has changed a lot that is the uh, meaning of development the changes that occur are well reflected in the face of the nature formation of human beings and animals 
Thus, geography makes a study of various factors that have brought about these changes, development and downfall of the civilization of the world also. So, let's see some other definitions of geography. Geography is the comparative study of earth regions. That means whatever regions are there may be deserted, mountain areas or islands, glaciers, all the comparative study is called geography. According to Edmund Brook, geography is an earthly subject but a heavenly science. Obviously, what a nice definition it is. That is earthly subject it is but it is heavenly science that means whatever we are learning related to the earth scientifically with proofs and all it's heavenly. Professor Unstead defines geography. Geography is a science which instigates macro organisms and spaced relationships of its component parts obviously micro small minute organisms may be in the sea or in the earth we will learn about all these things related to the different layers of the soil or maybe environment layers everything we will learn l dudley stamp state stated that the old geography worked from effect to cause modern geography works from cause to effect vice versa that means what is the effect yeah, of this particular issue which is caused earlier it was studied like that but now what is happening whatever first let's see the cause and then we will see the effect of it what are the causes we will find out and then to the effects so thanks for your attention and time in the next class we are going to learn about the nature and scope of geography thanks for your attention and time until we meet in the next class, happy learning.